Hey Jamie, I heard there's a new way of assessing engineering experience for applicants and EITs in Nova Scotia. What's this competency-based assessment all about? Absolutely, Alex. The CBA is an exciting modern approach that evaluates our engineering skills and experience. Instead of just counting years, it focuses on what we can actually do. That sounds comprehensive. How does this new system work? The CBA assesses 34 key competencies every professional engineer should have, covering everything from technical skills to communication and ethics. How do I demonstrate that I meet these competencies? You'll use a user-friendly online system to share examples of your work. Basically, telling stories about your projects and what you've learned. Plus, you can save your progress and revisit it, so you don't need to complete all 34 competencies at once. That's convenient. What happens after I submit my examples? After you submit, for validators. People familiar with your work will review everything. They'll confirm your examples and provide their own ratings. So, there's a thorough review process in place? Exactly. An experienced engineer will assess your complete application, looking at your examples, your self-ratings, and the validator's feedback to determine your readiness for professional registration. Why is this change happening now? The switch to CBA is all about ensuring consistency and reducing barriers for applicants. It enhances professional standards, promotes transparency, and improves harmonization across Canada. That makes a lot of sense. Can I start this process anytime in my career? Yes. You can begin at any point, you don't have to wait until you have the full 48 months of experience. What if I've partially completed my experience requirements using the previous method? Good question. Engineers Nova Scotia is implementing transition tiers based on how many months of approved experience you have logged by December 31, 2026. Current EITs should submit their engineering experience to their mentor or the board of examiners well in advance of that deadline. So, completing my experience requirements is essential for moving forward? Absolutely. By focusing on completing these requirements, we're setting ourselves up for success. This modernization ensures we're prepared for future challenges in our field. It's an exciting time to be an engineer. I'm ready to dive into this. I'll check the Engineers Nova Scotia website for more information. Definitely. Keep an eye on your emails and the website for updates. There's more information coming your way.